project has been developed by services and young people in recognition that there is little support and information out there for young people who have a parent who experiences mental health difficulties. The WITH project stands for Wellbeing in the Home and it is a young person's guide to parental mental health. The project involves a group of young people, some of whom have had some difficult experiences as a result of parental mental health difficulties that can affect their day to day lives. It is recognised across the world that affected parents may struggle to talk about their mental health with their children, often leading to confusion for the young person. Sometimes their parenting may be affected by the emotional distress they experience. However, research shows that having clear and accurate information about mental health can be very protective for young people, helping them to understand their experiences, increasing their resilience and helping them to get support for themselves. It was for this reason that the Young People Group got together to develop this series of informational videos. This online resource provides a series of different videos that outline the different types of mental health difficulties, with a focus on the steps people can take to get support and help if they are struggling with their mental health. I'm Neve. And I'm Dee. So, what is anxiety? People with anxiety will often have persistent feelings of fear and worry. These feelings can be so strong, they stop the person from doing things, from planning things, going out, or enjoying family, friends, and sometimes even everyday activities. And the feelings can be so huge that they can make their heart race, or make them sweat or feel dizzy or shaky. We all have times where we feel a bit worried or nervous. Yeah, like before a test at school, or a game, or performing in front of people. Feeling worried or nervous, even a little anxious, is all a normal part of having emotions that make us human. But usually when the test or game is over, the worry and anxious feelings go away too. But for someone with anxiety, these feelings can be there all the time. When they wake up, when they try to do things during the day, and when they try to go to sleep at night. And they can have those strong anxious feelings over things that others around them don't seem to worry about or think are scary. For people with anxiety, these feelings don't go away easily. In fact, it might be that the worry is so huge that it's the only thing they can think about. This can go on over a long, long time. Weeks, months, and for some people even years. And they're not doing this on purpose. In fact, they don't really want to be like this at all. They're not likely to snap out of it either, or feel better the next day or even the day after that. So, if you live with someone with anxiety, you might hear them talk about worries or fears, or they might appear to be tense a lot. And if that's your parent, it can be really hard for you to work through all that stuff. You might also notice other things. Someone with anxiety might talk about their worries a lot, or they might hold a lot of tension and stress in their bodies too. Yeah, they might get stressed over everyday stuff, they might find it really hard to get out of the house, go shopping, meet friends, go to work or do things with their family. They might also have problems with sleeping because they are thinking about what happened that day or what might happen the next day. This means that they can seem tired and irritable during the day. They might panic over stuff and get really upset or frightened or have trouble breathing. They might seem to explode over silly little things. They might have trouble concentrating or listening to other people. Yeah, although not everyone experiences anxiety in the same way. They might have some or all of the signs of anxiety that we've mentioned so far. Anxiety is a mental health difficulty that's diagnosed by doctors. You cannot catch it. So having a parent with anxiety does not mean you'll get it too. If you want to know more about where a mental health difficulty like this comes from, check out the video on this website, What is Mental Health? And remember, you didn't cause this. It's not your fault. 
and it's not your job to make your parent better either. The good news is, is that there are things that your parent can choose to do to get help. So, what can parents do? Sometimes talking about it helps, or getting support from other adults. Sometimes seeing a doctor, taking medicine, or seeing a psychologist can help people with anxiety. This allows your parent to reduce the anxious energy in their bodies and to make helpful changes to their thinking and behavior that can reduce their anxieties. Remember, lots of people with a mental health difficulty do recover and enjoy their family, their friends, and other fun stuff around them. Check out the video Recovery on this website for more information. So, this doesn't have to last forever. Having a parent with anxiety can sometimes be a bit tough on you and even a little scary at times. It might be hard not to feel anxious or worried as well, especially if there's tension and anxiety in the energy around you in the home. It's really important that you make sure you look after yourself, do things you enjoy, find someone to talk to, have some space, and have a look at the video self-care on this website that might also help. Try to find someone to talk over some of what is concerning you. It could be a parent or family friend or another trusted adult. Or call the Childline helpline and their number for that is on the screen now. And it doesn't have to be a crisis to call them. They have people trained to talk to you and it's completely confidential. There's lots of other information you might find helpful on the yourmentalhealth.ie website. And you might choose to look at some of the other videos on this website too. Take good care of yourself.